so let us continue over here and the next thing is that we need to create a form so we can add some record back to our box so let's go to the add student page over here and what we need to do is uh, let's create first of all a final and that's let me arrange it properly final underscore uh, i need underscore of a key and that will be of equals to the global key and that should be fine and i need to register this one as a, a state of the form form state right okay that should be fine and uh, we also need some of the uh, variables so i need the int type of the id right and that's the default of the zero and also we need a string type and that should be of a name and that should be another one we need the age right so int age and that's let's give us a default value of a zero and also we need uh, another one as a string and let's type it as a type of a nullable type subject so these are the field that we need to insert so you can just arrange it or you can just keep it in a single line that's up to you and okay so we got that and let's go on to down over here somewhere so here we need to have a app bar because we don't have an app bar this is not inside our uh, button navigation um, the page over here right so this is a different page so we need to have a app bar app bar let's pass in the title and then that should be of a let's see a const and the text and that should be of a type let's say uh, add student okay we got that and here we don't need a list view yeah i don't need a list view over here so i guess i can just remove it what i need over here i guess i'll just a column over here and that should be fine inside this column we have a children and let's create a form over here and that should be fine and this form should have the id right so it should be have a key and that C key would be our underscore key. The child, uh, let's create a column two over here because we need a, a vertical alignment all of our form field. I guess that should be fine. And inside this column, we have again have a children and children. Uh, let's create a text form field, right? So we need a text form field and uh, the first thing that we need is a keyboard type for this one so the keyboard type will be input type and let's say this is a number so this first one is an integer we need to pass in the id so let's set it as a number over there we can also do some decoration over here and i'll just say const and the input decoration and let's add the label for this one and i think it should be of a label text and this requires string so i'll just say uh, id over here and also i'll just uh, helper text so that should be of a string type and input your id there's not in pool it, it should be of input your id I guess that should be fine and what we do is on let's call it on save and then we get some value from here let's see our value we are getting and when we get that value what we want to do is we want to set it the value for our id which is of equals to in the the parse we need to pass the string value to the integer so i'll just say our value dot to string let's call this one okay i guess that should be fine so we have one form field right so we need to create for our um, string a uh, name age and the subject so i guess i'll just copy the whole thing and i need to just put in the comma over here 
can just copy all of this and we need to have another three right and this will be of the type will be of a uh, let's say a name sorry should be of a dot name and here we need to pass in the uh, type is of a name and input your name we just have to change this and this one we have to pass it set the value for our name so here we don't have to do the int pass because it's not the integer and after that we have a name and we have an age and input your i'll just say uh, age and here we need to set the value for the age and that should be fine this is an integer okay so i made a mistake i so i need to paste this one at the bottom so we're still missing one right so name age and the final one would be for our subject so this should be of the subject and input your subject right mm, sub jcp subject and we need to set the value for the subject to over here and this should not be in that pass because we are not passing the integer value to the string over here okay that's look fine and when the particular floating action button is pressed then uh, we need to save it right so what we will do is uh, i'll just call this one as a save and that should be fun and let me have an icon for this save to s a v e right okay that looks fine and uh, what we need to do is we need to create or i'll create a one function over here over here void and um, let's call it as a save the student and once we have this function uh, we'll say I create a final field of the let's say each valid and i'll just check if the form is valid which means that uh, form form key right i do you ha i have any what was the name okay i got a key it's not the form key so it's just a key so key and just i'll uh, check the current state of this form and i'll just check that it's uh, uh sorry it's valid just validate it so we'll say that if it is valid or not and i'll just check the if condition over here if the um each each valid is uh, not equals to now so if it is not now and also each uh, valid each valid so if the form is uh, the valid and if it is if the each valid is not now that means the form is already validated so what i can do is uh, underscore key dot the key and that i can use the current state to save it so once i call that save function i need to check uh, now and once i call this that all of these on save will be called so it will set the value for us so that we call the save on the each of the field on the form and now i can go and save my record so how i can save is my i have a box so the box name is of a student what was the name okay so student box dot i can i can just go and add so add all and add so here i need to pass in the uh, value so what i need to do is i need to set a student create a student object and pass in the value for all of these so uh, i guess that should be fine name age and student object so let me arrange it properly right and okay that should be fine id is the id name is the name and what is a string type also this is a nullable type so i can just have to make it to, to a string over here and age is is that's fine subject is a nullable type so i just convert it to, to a string and that should be fine and now what we can do is we'll just go and call that function from here so 
I'll just call that function uh, save student. That should be fine. So whenever we click on that floating action button, then we are going to call this function and save our uh, record inside the box. So that looks fine. And um, let's go and run our application. Just rebuild the whole application and let's go to the student. And currently we don't have any. So let's go over here. So what we will do is uh, let's give an ID. Uh, let's say I have ID of one and name. Let's say uh, demo one. And then we have an age. Let's give them 12. And subject, let's say uh, English. And we just save it. And let's create another one, number two. And let's give a uh, demo of two. And it's, let's say, uh, a 13. And let's give a same subject. And let me add one more time. Let's add a three record. And 13. And this is a 14. And same subject. Okay, so we don't have any list over here because we need to rebuild our let's get it okay so now you can see that we get all of our record back so the record doesn't look quite well in the column so what we need to do is we need to um set the cross axis alignment right cross axis alignment cross axis alignment to this start okay so that's look fine and yeah that's look better right and I can also give a little bit of a padding and let's have a padding for here. Okay, that's look fine. So we got the three record and uh, that's look great. So this is how we add and read it. So here we are reading it in the student page. This is how we are reading, uh, reading a box based on the each of the index that we have. And in the add a student page, we are adding the record inside our box so this is a way to add right and uh, yeah so we are using add because we are we don't want to pass in the, the key right so if you don't want to pass in the key just want to pass in the value and let it auto generate the the key for you so we can just use of add but if you want to pass in the key manually then you have to use a put right so i guess that's all for this lesson let's meet up in the next lecture till then have a great day